Okay, so for today's quick tip tutorial, I wanted to do and, and show you guys um, what a parent object is. And so I'm gonna start by creating a circle and show you that this circle I will use as a parent object. What that means is that everything will depend off of this dimension. So if we say here, go here to 50, and we give this a radius of 50, um, then we can go ahead and move, let's say move this up. So we'll move this circle in the vertical direction, so Z. And then we click this here, and by dragging and hitting Alt, we can just make a quick copy and drag that into here. So now we moved basically the circle up to this, uh, to here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this circle and I'm gonna go ahead and offset it. So double click and go to offset, and then we can put in here our circle. Now we can go from negative 50 to dot, dot, dot 50. And that way it'll give us the ability to go from zero and go back. So if we have this at 50 here, it'll go negative 50 and then it'll create a uh, basically an issue with it. Well, as soon as we increase here, we'll see that it'll never go back to um, anything smaller than the center point. So we can go ahead and take this one, spacebar, and hide the preview. And now we have basically this circle, which is um, offset. We can offset it in and out. And the reason why the parent object is the circle is because as soon as we move and offset the circle in and out, we see that this offset here will adjust. And that's because this geometry that we moved up and we offset is dependent on the circle. And so that's one way here in, um, in Grasshopper, how you can have everything react to one, but you do have to be careful because this could create issues uh, later on. So if we take this and we go to loft, or we can actually first we'll go to mirror and we'll use this as a mirror plane and we'll go ahead and take that circle to the top. And so it creates that and we can go ahead and loft it together. So let's take the first one and let's make sure to flatten it first so we see the result working. And there we go. Here we have a parent object where you increase and decrease this circle and it'll automatically adjust this circle. Um, and so yeah, I just wanted to show you guys a quick tip as to um, how to make things relate to uh, your starting point. And so yeah, that's basically how you create a parent object here in Grasshopper. If you wanted to check out some more in-depth tutorials, I have a Udemy and a Skillshare website where I go over the steps in a little bit more detail. Okay, so this is the final render, and I wanted to show you guys how quickly you can kind of create a nice form uh, using the parent object here. And so I'll make sure to add this to the description for you to play with, but make sure you also um, have lunch Lunchbox and Weaverbird just in case, uh, and you can get those for free on Food for Rhino, so check the description. If you like the content, make sure to like the video, and if you want to see videos like this in the future, make sure to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.